anyone still remained to weep over this child huh? Gallica you've returned Milady Gruaday it's been a long Gruaday. time may I ask who this is she is the chiefess of this village the hermitess Gruaday she was kind enough to shelter the entire organization when his highness fled to these woods I can't believe he's gone I'm sure some parapus orphan from the slums. I was never supposed to outlive any prince. Was he killed here? No. It all happened in the bunk room in the back. We moved him here to the altar once all was quiet. I don't know if you'd believe me, but... I received a revelation. Should the prince die, his body should be kept safe and still here until the rightful day comes, even if the boy is but a bastard sired by that despicable man. He is still Her Majesty's son. Despicable? What, you mean yeah. the king? The, the elder adult. Do you know nothing of the child's mother? No. The boy was not brought across borders to us. He was born here, in the ancient sanctum. His mother was our past chiefess, the queen of our elder tribe. She was a flower amidst the forests, a woman of Is that the voice we've been hearing is the voice of our mother? Kindness. She saved this child from the flames. And it cost her her life. Her death is on that man's hands. Like a piper, he wandered in and seduced the young queen with his idealistic tales. But he failed to protect his family and died powerless. The village was only set ablaze because the boy was in the way of the Sanctus Church's designs on the throne. And that insipid king could do nothing to stop them. But you see, this boy, His Highness the Prince, looks so much like Her Majesty. And so. Hmm. You there, boy. Are you perhaps... Uh, no, it can't be. And yet... Is something amiss, Milady Gruaday? He is one of Gallica's allies. His loyalty stands with His Highness, and he has risked much in the Prince's name. Whoa! What's with the formal introduction? You were the one who gave us our orders in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, here's the truth. Hurry. Yeah, the voice coming from somewhere. Hey, are you okay? The time has come. Here thou camest to the end of thy journey. This secret place was home to thee. Now remember thy path thus far. Walk thy life's road and see it anew. The second awakening. I have been waiting for thee to overcome thy trials. Long have I waited for thy return. Know this, his life is not yet ended. What do you mean? What do you mean? It all started on that ill-fated day when the usurper thought to extinguish his light. Before he fades away, recount all thou hast seen and felt, all thou hast gained in thy journey's course. I look now into the past. I see the roads I traveled on this journey. Gallica and thee sought to take the head of Louise, but thy efforts came to naught. So, ye moved instead to join a tournament to decide the land's king. In the prince's name. In the prince's name. Though thy plan was reckless, 
Thou didst win the trust of the people by the support of peers and subjects alike. Thus, thou didst declare thyself the prince. It was all for victory. After overcoming many obstacles, thou didst finally lift the prince's curse. Yet by the cruel machinations of another, the young prince... ...is no longer with us. Thy sole mission was to save the prince. Bereft of him, thou hast no further reason to live. That's not true. That's not true. If the prince is dead, wert thy efforts all for naught? Not dead. She's not dead. So thy resolve is yet unbroken. So be it. Thou hast earned the truth. He was consumed by the curse, and was taken by a deep abiding slumber. Yet his soul remained alive. So from his earthly form, I extracted his soul, that he might travel the land in Odyssey. Yep. I'm the fucking prince! Sands began to flow once more. Thy journey has taken thee far and taught thee much. So now I ask thee, who art thou? I'm the prince's friend. Is that truly thy role? No. Clear your mind and think. To name but a few, thy parents, memories of thy youth, hast thou any recollection of where and how thy youngest years were spent? Yes, thy memories begin the moment thou befriend the prince. Dost thou suspect the reason? I just don't remember. Then search thy mind. Thou knowest the truth in thy heart, surely. Thou hast nothing. Could you imagine if you had to, like, pick specific dialogues for this? I, that would be nuts in my opinion. For this. Because it's so crazy. Thou art a being of mine own creation. T'was Gallica alone who the Resistance laid their hopes upon all those days past. Yep. Thy life had yet to begin. All thou hadst, all that had been bestowed, was a memory. Thy mission to save the Prince. Thy memories of youth in the Prince's company, and the void enshrouding all else in thy past. All signs of thy conjured existence. I... I have nothing? Nay. The words of the prince in thy memory are unmistakably of his true heart. The memories gained on thy journey. The friendships made. The trust forged. These true things art thine own. All thy trials. All thy experiences were to prepare thee for this day, to share the strength thou hast gained with thy other self. Do you mean? Do you mean? Trust and friendships I've gained have been there to support me. <sighs> if they know I came from nothing, I am nothing. Well, people had stood by me, believed in me. The same goes for the desire to help anyone in need. How is it that I've touted such a laughable ideal idealistic belief this long? Accept the truth, and thou wilt face an ordeal beyond any you have yet faced. If thy desire is instead for freedom, thou mayest still abandon thy mission and end it here. Is that right? I see. 
My true identity so is... So I bid thee answer my final question. Who art thou in truth? Ooh. Get two endings here. But I am the prince as I, I fucking am. knew! The prince. What is this? I feel a curious resonance. Could this be? But how? Impossible. Hey! What's going on? What awaits us now? Hark, life is not yet lost. Thou wert born apart from the Prince's flesh, born of his desire to change the world. <sighs> In his stead didst thou travel the world, thou didst support his heart, and became his living fantasy. That is thy true self. I'm the hero he from the book. The prince sought to be his ideal. <sighs> oh, they didn't pick up the book. Divine relic. Magla coalesced into flesh, and flesh coalesced into form. Was the, the book a divine relic? What? As I once was. And Galka came here and told me of the mission. The Awaken, reborn anew. No more the prince's dream of utopia thou wouldst chase. Nay, but, but thy own. own. What's up? What is this? What's happened? Thou hast done well to guide him this far. This voice. I'm sure I've heard it before. Thy mind should now be clearing. Remember now thy true charge. He was never a member of the resistance. Ah, the mission, she kept the, the departure things hidden from Galica. And thereafter didst thou encounter him. Who are you? Wait, what am I saying? In those long ago days, he had just been born into this land. Newborn in form, if not in appearance, the boy needed a guide. Thus, I decided his memories would be thine. Thou wouldst share past and purpose, a memory so crafted to suit thee. My journey to the capital would not be made alone, but alongside him. No, that can't be. He was there when we got our orders. I never thought I would have to ask this of you. But there are so few of us left now. 
There is no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a message to our contact there? This is your mission. For all our sakes, you cannot fail. No! But... I was alone? By this, By this choice, choice, he might be saved. saved. By these gentle, necessary lies, we could live to see this day, when our dearest wish is fulfilled. As he traveled alongside thee, he gained both strength and wisdom. It is only by thy efforts that my voice reached him. He has now been saved. And so the journey ends here. Thou hast fulfilled thy mission admirably. What? Wait just a minute. What do you mean it ends here? From here on, thy path is thy own. Choose thy own future for thyself. And may the fates smile on thy journey. <sighs> Hi, everyone. How do we make sense of this? Is it... really you? How... I mean... How do you feel? I feel fine. I feel fine, I think. Whoa! There seems to be no doubt. He is still himself. But I also sense his highness within him. I feel fine, I think. I think my voice is different. Everyone? I need to tell you something. The truth is... So let me get this straight. You're saying it's not a matter of our captain and his highness joining together, but that the former was... this disembodied entity sprung from the latter? Then... That's why he had no memories. Cause he didn't even exist. I see. Finally, I understand the strange feeling I had sensed upon our meeting. What shaped you, so to speak, was the Prince's will itself, a part of his consciousness. Yes, the Prince's very heart. He was his soul given flesh. Perhaps the form we knew was one shaped by material magla, much like how the dragon god manifests beyond the vessel Dracodios. A mass of magla with a will. Forget the dragon god. He may as well have been a dragon himself. Small wonder he awakened <laughs> to an archetype before anyone else. It was no great aptitude for magic. He himself was composed of pure magla. The self as a manifestation of one's desires. Similar to archetypes. I suppose this is the very essence of magic. You... you mean to say that... It was not merely pretense to claim the prince's name. He truly was his highness all along. If that's true, this is finally your reunion with your sworn... Hi, Hoggy. Seems like cause for rejoicing, eh? <laughs> Lady Hulkenberg of the Royal Guard. But I... I failed to protect his highness. No. I am sure the strength of your devotion had a hand in saving him. While all and sundry believed the lad had shuffled off, you alone kept the faith, milady. And in the end, Aww. that faith was rewarded. Fate was changed. Are you really... His Royal Highness the Prince? Yeah. Please. Please, forgive me, your highness. I failed you when you needed me most. And more, uh, despite being a member of your royal guard, I did not recognize your highness at our meeting and showed you such... Oh, insult. come now, Hulkenberg. I pronounce your sentence. And I hereby pronounce your sentence. <laughs> <laughs> You've been by her side all this time. <laughs> you of all people know how much she's gone through for you. This time, I will protect you. Even should it cost me my very life. <laughs> I swear to it. I hereby pronounce her sentence. Proud. We've really done it. 
By the way, what are we supposed to call you now? I mean, how would you prefer to be addressed, my lord? Not that. <laughs> Nothing's changed. You can just keep uh, calling me Captain. No, Your Highness. With all respect, I must object. Ah, this is ah! the Miguel. <laughs> He's the one who gets to decide what we badly call him. What so we badly call him? To him eh? What? You, sir. Should be begging his highness for forgiveness on bending knees. <laughs> well runner to your own whimsy, you lout. Uh, well, that is. I mean, it was it was all dashed useful in the end, wasn't it? <laughs> A bit of clemency, your highness. So much for acting same as always. It's beyond belief. Not just that a child who'd lain cold for years could come back to us, but through such extraordinary circumstances. After so long in the curse's thrall, he could not even open his eyes. He may as well have been a corpse. But all this time, he had been on his own journey. It was the boy's dearest wish. He spoke of a fantasy of traveling the world, meeting its people, seeing its truths. And without him even knowing, magic made it real. He is a child of Elden blood and Elden legacy. All these years he spent in the village, he has rested near the secret of true magic. <laughs> Perhaps this is how it came to be. His was a fantasy surpassing fantasy. It became more than a dream, but a self-possessed force acting of its own volition. And now, we're united. Prince and fantasy live anew. A journey to discover and reclaim the self. In all senses. In no all wonder senses. he set off the custom igniter in the royal gauntlet runner. He was the crown prince himself. Even having it all explained ah. like this, it feels like nothing short of a miracle. I can only guess that fate had a hand in it. That's right. I remember I heard a voice. Guide him, it said. What's this all of a sudden? <laughs> What's this all of a sudden? If you can't I mean, my voice didn't change before our journey, then we probably met after you'd only just yeah uh, happened, right? I shouldn't have known you then, but for some reason, I was convinced that we'd always been together. I thought we both received the order to save the prince too. Ever since the moment I heard that weird voice guiding me, a voice. Lady Gruaday mentioned a revelation. Hold on, are we still being mystic and metaphorical? Nah, it's my mom. Is there an actual guide involved? I know someone was guiding me. It's my mom. I just don't know who. So a disembodied voice. Hang on. Come to think of it, that sounds a bit familiar for me too. Hey, who do you think the voice belongs to? Any idea? Sort of. I have a faint idea, but I'm not entirely sure. Come to think of it, this place, the light coming in, they seem familiar. I might say the same. When I first acquired yeah, I was about to say, we all had our awakening in this area. Unlike these grounds. Does this mean that we've been guided as well? Perhaps someone has been at your side unseen, watching over the course of your journey. I imagine all this comes as a great shock for you as well. But here you are, back in your rightful place. You have come to the end of your arduous journey and found new life. It is a life well won, grasped with your own two hands. Chief Descruide, we want to know everything. What is the truth behind your tribe, the Elder? We Mustari are also said to have inherited truths of the world before us. Histories hushed by sanctism. But this village, it is something altogether different. I myself feel a strange familiarity here. A lost haven underground, yet letting of the sky's light. 
Please, tell us. What is the Elder Tribe? To know what we are, you must first know our history. Come to the altar room, past the door. Ah, I've already I'll done that. There. But I'll do it again. Just a okay with that. The truth of the prince. The son and heir of the throne of Kina Deathless V, the prince and Clyde, are now one and the same. The attack on the prince inside the royal palace led his aides to conclude the capital was no longer safe for him, so they secretly moved the prince to the ancient Elden Sanctum to continue recovering. Alas, their Elden teachings were not enough to lift his curse, and he continued to decline until falling into a coma. However, he had guidance from a mysterious voice and an indomitable will that would not see his ideals abandoned. Though the, through these, a new body made of Magla was created. Much like the dragons of yore, the prince's spirit inhabited this new body. And he started another life as an entirely separate young man. That young man, oddly enough, pursued a journey to change the world. Something the prince likely would have wished to take on had he been well enough. Through that journey, the young man came to know the truth behind everything. And after his spirit returned his body, he could then reveal himself publicly as the prince once more. Oh, there's still more. Oh, the old hermit. Hi, lady. Could this be? This is truly a miracle. They grew to have mentioned she'd caught wind of some manner of revelation. Could this be the late queens? Yeah, I'm not talking to everyone again. Aw, oh, man. Not that I don't mind the silver hair, but I like the blue hair, too. And I like my, uh, uh, my yellow and blue eyes. Does this depict the Elder Tribe? Elder comes from an ancient word, meaning only the Old Ones. It was an alias given by our ancestors to outsiders who visited the village in the distant past. As for our original name, you know it well by now. We were humans. The Human Tribe. So Luis's words... There is no Human Tribe. Tribes, as we know them today, did not exist then. We were all one people. Humankind. A world united. But, wait. The ruins on Virga Island. There's nothing left of the civilization today. Was it destroyed? Why? How? A war. One that all but destroyed the world past. But its destruction was born of the discovery of Magla. Or as you call it today, magic. <laughs> Do you wonder what they battled over? Without the divided tribes, what could they have disagreed on? They were racked by division. Over the abstract, undefinable idea of rightness. They tried to destroy something invisible and destroyed only themselves. And any idea of absolute rightness is born of fear. That fear flooded the world and gave way to war. And their age of prosperity came to be called the world before. The people we now call tribes were either born of artificial division for the sake of the war effort or natural adaptation to survive the hellscape after. <sighs> Humanity was torn apart by fear and anxiety Giving rise to the tribes as we know them Unbelievable We've met plenty of people caught up in pointless conflicts Given the choice, I know they'd rather live in a world without tribal division And yet the truth is That world's already fallen yep. apart More than that It's how we all got here such drastic physical changes would normally have taken eons to effect. Accelerated by Magla, however, it was only a matter of a scant few centuries. You understand now, yes. We, the Elder, are the survivors of the old world. Our ancestors fled the flames of war and thus escaped the ensuing divisions. <sighs> 
That means the prince. That's to say, I am the sign of both the old world and the new. It beggars belief. It is nothing short of astounding. But then, why do we know these monsters as humans? By the war's end, both sides were consumed by fear. Their magical assaults escalated with each retaliation until it was beyond all control. Our world became a hell. Rampant magla distorts the body and mind. By now, I'm sure you know that better than you ever wished to. Humans are what remains of that branch of humankind that succumbed to melancholia. Broken, horrifying testaments to their own mistakes in the war of magic. Some persist, breed, and multiply as any beast does. Others live centuries of agony before their lives burn out. Even we do not know the full scope of their nature. Regardless, when the eight tribes settled in this land, our claim to the human legacy was forgotten. To the people, the name only meant slavering insane monsters. Therefore, we took on an alias instead. The same one by which we are known today. The Elder. So... The old world couldn't control its magic, and... Wait... How does the Sanctus Church fit in? All this revisionist history to spread their magic igniters. Indeed, what are magic igniters to you? Tools for the Church to shackle the people, perhaps? Or weapons that hide magic's true potential? Am I close to the mark? In truth, it's the opposite. Igniters are tools made to limit magic. Restraints made in self-discipline, meant to avert a repeat of history's destructive mistakes. The Sanctus Church of today is muddied by greed. But its faith was born of good intentions. They once urged self-control, and thus control of one's personal magic. At times, they preached we must close our eyes to the truth when it would only lead us to ruin. By this benign tenet, history was obscured, and the Elder denounced. I had no idea. There's a grim irony in that. His Majesty only hid his son's ancestry to protect him. Yet in the end, that meant Forden could attack the village under any pretext he liked, his motives concealed. With all that said, you have now reclaimed your true form. The friends that stand with you are of different tribes and ideologies, but of one mind. As you are now, you may walk the path of the rightful king. The path of a modern world, where the tribes walk as individuals, yet with mutual respect and cooperation. The Sovereign's power, thou king to be, entrusted with the will of the people. To bear their hopes is to be their rock in the storm, and to face anxiety in their names. Oh, shit. Yet, anxiety itself is not something to blindly reject or desperately cast away. It begins with a simple thing, acknowledging its existence. Accept thy weakness, walk forward alongside it, and thou wilt grow strong and true in its company. There's a weakness in people. I'm sure there are many who would say that helping anyone in need is nothing but a fantasy. And besides... Realistic or not, I refuse to accept Luis's methods as the alternative. The weak and those who dissent don't deserve to die out as though that's the natural order. <laughs> Hello. His Majesty! My determination to challenge the unknown has awakened the heroic embodiment of the Prince! Let's do it. Let's do it. No one understands me right away. I accept that. 
There will still be meaning in showing them my convictions in the fight to Let's come. Fight. That is my mission. That's it. I've made up my mind. I'm with you to the end. Time to max out Galica too. Where is this coming from? Before we got there, this guiding voice thing told me my duties were over. But what am I gonna do? Just go, okay, bye? Especially after we've come this far together? No. I'm going to face Louise with you. Even if it is scary. Even you've got to cope with anxiety, eh? I've realized something in our travels. Anxiety can lead people astray. But overcoming it makes a person stronger. There's always anxiety in the unknown. I know what it's like to be afraid of something I don't understand. That's why I think it's my duty to help people face and connect with their anxiety. Is that okay? From now Hi. on, it's not about orders. I'm with you because I want to be. I'm counting on you. <laughs> I'll be counting on you as always. Same here. <laughs> I love that smug okay. look of Galica. Well, no. we past the worst of it, but the problem remains. Luis's dark magic. We've seen it turn the boy into a monster, and no doubt he can do it again. The forbidden spell, turning sane mortals into the fearsome human monsters. In other words, a destabilizing magic. Turning a person's magler into a snarl beyond control. This man named Luis. He may have his own past in this ancient sanctum. Luis has been here? What do you know of him? What do you wish to know? Tell me about Luis. Who exactly is Luis? Is he also Every an elder? I heard of his doings in the wider world. I felt more and more Yeah, sure Luis is also an Elda. Luis is from this village. Those are just fake gleamer his horns. Of humans, his skills in magic, his grasp of darker arts. They're all beyond a mere soldier to begin with, however prodigious. As it happens, a name does occur. Among those old families who perished in the fire, there was one by the name of Caradrius, a family of doctors. I believe. In an effort to better heal the ills of the people, they had studied spells much like the ones he now exploits. The details are long since lost to the fire. But if Luis spares our legacy, that may be the reason for his vast knowledge. Wait, what about Luis's ambition? The vision Rella saw. Do you think he actually wants to turn everyone in the kingdom into humans? There is no known magic strong enough to turn many people at once, and none that can be cast quickly. Even if it was possible, I don't know what it would accomplish. But this is Luis we're talking about. Who knows what he's thinking? What do you wish to know? What do you wish to know? By the forbidden spell. What is this forbidden spell? The essence of magic is in the control of Magla. However, just as its chaos may be calmed, it can also be deliberately pushed out of control. That was what you saw. He whipped your innate magic to a frenzy and you were lost to melancholia. Just as the humans of the ancient war once were. In every age, the cause and effect are the same. People learn fear, become slaves to their anxiety, suffer. And thus, the power of magic is born. Pardon me. You mean to say anxiety is the source anxiety of Anxiety is the magic? source of all magic. Magla is a substance born of the heart, generated when one feels anxiety or fear. By certain means, it may be kindled into power. That is what we call magic. In this way, it is by virtue of the anxiety in our hearts that we gain the power to overcome it. Magic is a natural process. And anxiety is its invaluable, irreducible fuel. But in turn, those burdened with more anxiety and fear produce more and more magla from their hearts. Without the willpower to face your fear, the magla overflows. Uncontrollable by magic, 
It can give rise to strange, Is that what those like baseless dead like people are like? The world embroiled in chaos. These outbursts of swollen magic may be happening all across our kingdom. Tis the answer to everything. The melancholia crystals. The beasts driven feral. The fairy land is erupting with the weight of its people's fears. Hold on. If Luis's art is rooted in bringing out this chaos, then anyone might be next. He said he became a monster because he's elder, but that wasn't the complete story. If what you say is true... Indeed. All people today are ultimately descendants of humankind. If Luis so chooses, he could turn anyone into a human monster. Yet as long as you have the strength to confront your fears, even this transformation may be defied and overcome. But if he would turn people into humans, if in the unlikely event that happens... If there is any motive for such cruelty, it can only be hatred. If Luis is truly from this village, then their fire would have cost him everything. Such unjust tragedy could easily beget a thirst for revenge, even if it meant wielding a magic that twisted life into something terrible, instead of uplifting it. Indeed, it seems the opposite of an archetype. A truly dark the Opposite power. of an archetype, eh? Who goes there? Someone flees! That's him. The malformed assassin who struck at the prince. He's bound for the woods. After him! Can I equip the prince? I want to see that the prince archetype. What? Someone's watching us. Ran off to the woods. Quickly, let's go after him. What now? Is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Makes synthesis skills easier to activate. Leads allies. Makes the most of their strengths with unique skills. Support attacks from comrades happen more easily, and enemies are stunned more easily in overworld. Heroic Slash deals heavy physical slash damage to one enemy, damage boost against human type monsters. Holy shit. Any, 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 any. Royal Sword deals severe physical and mighty damage to one enemy, increased damage against human type monsters. Armageddon's Final Sire deals 9,999 damage to all enemies. Holy fuck. Required item, Chronicle of the End. Ally, first ally needs to be a royal, 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 royal archetypes? Is that what it is with the final? Um, all right. All right. Russell, is everyone safe? Yeah, we've had no casualties. However, we were swept aside like pebbles, unworthy of even a glance. I could do nothing but watch. I was powerless against him. No. There was little else that could have been done. Responsible as they were for the downfall of the resistance, any move we might have made would result in needless sacrifice. I believe the intruder sensed the power of the prince's awakening and came to investigate. I don't know why he would have run away. Surely has a plan. Try it carefully, please. Yeah, let's save before anything else happens here. <laughs> let's get going. Ready? Hurry after the attacker. Are you ready? Let's go.
Get back here, Zoban. Stop! You! Zoba. So it was you behind the attack? Indeed it was. I killed the prince, though he died all too easily. And the odd thing was, his aura felt awfully similar to yours. So I decided to bide my time a while and listen. And it's a good thing I did. There really is something stranger going on. Who are you? Are you the prince or not? Whatever your answer, I must report back to Lord Luis. Do you have any idea what Luis is really scheming? If he becomes king, everyone in this country is doomed. If that is what Lord Luis so desires, then I shall see it done. It's almost impressive how blind your faith in him is. I suppose it's just easier to follow instead of thinking for himself. He's forgotten anything he really wants. What do you intend to do? The crown is too heavy a burden for your reedy frame. Lord Luis is the true king, who will save the worthy. And you are nothing but a powerless imposter, only fit to be sacrificed. He is no imposter, fiend. His Highness has finally taken his first steps on the road to victory. Here, at his journey's end, after enduring these countless hardships, he has become a true successor, a true ruler, because he knows the people's suffering firsthand. <laughs> well, imposter or not, it's all the same if he's a corpse. And so I shall return the prince and his dying legacy to the underworld where they belong. Oh, hey, it's this thing again. Bastard! I wondered why you ran away. But it was all to lure us straight to this monstrosity. Keep your guard up. The Melancholia is fueling his magic power. We've come too far to be stopped by something like him. Let's put our power on full display. Yeah. The power... The power of your newly earned archetype prince surges forth. This guy shows up again just when we've unlocked some new power. Kind of feels like fate by now. Okay, time for a new fight. Stay on your toes. Prince is an archetype exclusive to the protagonist. You can now change it out as you wish. It can act as support for all synthesis skills. It has unique traits not found in other archetypes, but none of its skills can be transferred. All right, let's take it down and then get after Zorba. I'll cut through. Why is it just me? Why is it just me? Prince! Prince! Is there another way? Let's go. The blade's edge. It's still up. The captain's hurt bad. I can't give up now. Let's get him some healing. I'm sorry. Everyone. D do I have to make a party? Cause I feel like this is some bullshit. What now? Motherfucker! Fucking Christ! Are you fucking kidding me? Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! That I actually had to make a party. Did I have to do that with Luis to fight as well? Stay insane in a fight? Not bloody likely. Not bloody likely. Ready? Fuck you, first of all, game. Wait! Was that? Oh my god, I am gonna. If I did not make. Oh, I'm gonna check that as well with the fight with Luis. Because if that was the case, too, and because I need to make... Was the reason why I was by myself, was that because of the fucking tur uh, the, the Coliseum fight? If that is the case, holy fuck, fuck you, game.
Roll sword. De deal severe all my damage to one enemy. Increase damage against human types. Take my power. Scour. That's your only captain. Just the dance for you. Mask dancer. Mask dancer. Walk a royal path. I leave it to you. Wind. This will be over. Watch me. Bird. Stop her, hey. Whenever about bloody time, let my power support you. Destroying my I will fight with you. Let's go. The blade's end. I call upon the royal stone. Thanks. Oh, oh God, could I? Oh, Thank my you. God. If, if I seriously did all this because I fucking forgot that I need to put party in, I'm gonna be pissed. Rick on me, you bitch. Let me handle those apples. Go for it, Galica. All right, leave it to me. Now it can't heal itself anymore. 
Don't waste your chance. Get in there. Sika. Blow away. Yeah. You Stay, you better weakness. be ready. Lend me your strength. Someone, get Take healed my power. You hit their weakness. That's your own. I call upon the royal soul. I knew you'd help. Thanks. That was helpful. If I can do this. Let all be dispersed. I'm follow my lead. It's up to you now. Damn. Wind God's Gale. Not bad. I'll strive for greater heights. The bastard got away. I say, you chaps boggle the mind. It's no mean feat to fight on even footing with a human. Hmm. I'd hoped as much. You may yet have the power to face Luis at his full strength. It's good to see you're safe. We've certainly taken these powers a long way. Maybe we thought ourselves invincible, but don't worry. At long last, the prince is safe, in a manner of speaking. Everything's going according to plan. Still, what's our next move? The people think you're a monster. We'll not find any public backing like this. Alces once said that His Highness the Prince was a soul born into adversity. He is royalty and elder both, heir to the legacies of heaven and earth. He is water and fire in condemned conflux. When the conflux. day comes that His Highness may be revered as the good ruler he can be, then the world will truly be free of prejudice. And that, he said, is why we fight. In his own words, huh? We have to fight for what he believed in. All the more reason we can't turn from this. Right. Years of prejudice won't go away overnight. Now they could accomplish that. But if we don't believe things can change, they never will. Come what may, my life is a shield raised in your highness's name. Are you prepared to fight Luis to the bitter end? I'm prepared. Of course. I'm prepared. Yes. That determination is how we'll stop him. If he ends up king, he'll be sending all traitors to the gallows. Not just us, but any innocent folks he doesn't find use for. <sighs> We've lost too many lives along this journey. If Luis has his way with the world, such partings would become all too common. We have to stop him. Look, I'm never giving up hope either, okay? All we have to do is beat him, right? Looking forward to the victory song. <laughs> well, we've got bigger things to worry about now. But I can't wait to sing it. You... <laughs> I'm still amazed. You really do look just like your mother. Truly, you are a child of fate. Your mother, she loved your father and you with all her heart. The injustice that befell this village is not your fault. But listen well. Once you leave this village, you cannot return until you have fulfilled your ambitions. After all, an old crone like me can't take care of you forever. If you want to overcome your hardest challenges, you'll have to face them yourself. The world's fate is in your hands. Please, put an end to the tragedies of humankind's failures. I will. Yes, I will. Our final battle lies ahead. We cannot lose. Yet, before all else, His Highness has only just awoken. Let us rest in the Gauntlet Runner for today, and advance to the Royal Capital tomorrow. It's a bit strained, isn't it? I was convinced we'd been together for a long time. But 
I can't believe we've only just met. The beginning of my journey may have been a false memory, but my journey with you and the memories we've made, those are all real. Oh, I guess I'm repeating myself, but I'm glad we're working together. Likewise. Likewise. I'm glad to be your ally. Yep. Though, I guess our toughest challenge is next. I can overcome her trial. I can sense newfound convictions from Galka, both an ally and a friend. The mystical fairy. There we go. That's Galica. Galica maxed. She who still keeps the virtues of the mage. Your tempered bond has become a fire forged trust. Trust. Thus, a new pinnacle of heroism awakens within thee. By the grace of her newfound powers, work together to give truth to our hopes and fulfill thy destiny. Max. We've got the path to tomorrow in front of us, and I'm gonna lead the way. Party can now study the elemental master and warlock. During squad battles, you ga may gain extra turn icons. Can now study the elemental master in academia. Try seeing what new powers await you. Can now study the warlock in academia. Try seeing what new powers await you. I definitely want to see what those guys do. When things get tough, remember this magic. The music meant for you will play in your head. This is the magic of music that Galka cast for me once. Now that I think about it, it may have helped me in ways I didn't realize. By the way, the chief test told me something about your novel. Apparently, your parents gave you that book when you were still just a kid. I wonder what your parents wanted you to get from reading it. What they hoped for you, I guess. My mom gave it to me. I suppose you'll have to find out for yourself. <sighs> this book is a legacy of my parents. The late king of Ukronia and the queen of the Elven Sanctum. Perhaps the utopia depicted in this book wasn't a mere fantasy. The ideas of the old world passed down to the Sanctum. The part we're reading today is... The last chapter. It's about the ruler of this ideal world. Let's read it together. The last chapter is about the ruler of a utopia. The one who governs this utopia must have an unwavering will to maintain justice in this world. There are innumerable obstacles to overcome, yet, as long as one lives by their ideals, those who support them are sure to follow, and Utopia is not the creation of a single mind, or a single power. It is a world shaped by all its people. The last part sounds a little more metaphorical, hmm? There's a little more. However, even a Utopia may one day fray at the edges, and its people may come to conflict over the question of what is right. What is a true utopia? What is a true ruler? None have yet found the answers to these questions. Then true utopia has never been achieved. The so-called utopia depicted within this novel is based on the old world. But it fell into ruin and was destroyed by war. So if this book traces the trajectory of the old world, are these truly the ideals we're striving for? Since are the opposite. So even the author of this book struggled with these questions. And if you become king, you'll have plenty of tough questions and struggles to face yourself. Lady Cruadane mentioned the king was a real idealist when he first arrived at the village. But little by little, the pains of reality crushed his hope. And he even lost his son. In the end, his will was broken. He didn't lift a finger to stop the church's rise to power. With that in mind, I can honestly see why people would be drawn to Luis. His values are radical and cruel, but he's devoted to them. Unshakable, even. But we can't lose either. For the sake of everyone who has believed in us along the way. Even if I were to win the throne, there's no guarantee my idealistic vision could ever become a reality. Right. And yet, what choice is there but to believe in them and fight on? The alternative is to accept that nothing will change. You've got the power to change the world. 
and the one who gave it to you was... Well... Yourself. And that's what I'm going to help you with. That's my mission. My real mission. And I'm going to see it through. We're discussing the novel and our deals with Galico. I close my eyes. And all I see is you. Close my eyes. Try to sleep. I can't get you. Hey, more. Academia. Since I've been summoned by more in my dream. My I dream. saw what happened. So, you found a way to unequivocally shape your destiny. As far as I know, there is no record of your newly acquired archetype ever being used, even in ancient times. An archetype whose existence was only theoretical, known to some scholars as the magic of true sovereignty. True Indeed, sovereignty. a power of legend. I once said that to be elder was your inescapable fate. However, it seems the truth was more complex than that. Magic is a process by which we confront fate and tame anxiety. And archetypes are its essence. They are manifestations of a resolve capable of heroic virtue. So then, what do you think is the foremost, most inescapable fate a person must bear? The foremost fate? I'm not really sure, but for me to be me, and for you to be you, or something like that. Indeed. It is birth that is inescapable. Indeed. You cannot choose who you are born to. And once your familial place is determined, that fate cannot be changed. Yet by some strange tangle of destiny, you were given a choice that the very act of existence denies most people. By your own will, you were born again as a prince. Do you understand? You stand on the threshold of truly becoming a ruler. Not as an unearned title of bloodline's chance, nor as a mere authority over people. You have taken control of your life. You are ready to rule your very self. That is what it truly means to be a hero. And it is the crux of the power that has awakened within you. <laughs> what glorious coincidence indeed, that I, as a scholar of archetypes, might cross paths with and witness such a remarkably fated boy. It almost bespeaks... Indeed, tis his hands that bear our fate. Ooh. Hi, Mom. I remember. I know that I know this voice. Had I forgotten it all this time? Is it the cat? Yes. I swear I've heard it before. And I... I let it slip from my mind. Who are you? You, with this voice that moves hearts, speak. Who are you? Why have you awakened this boy to his power? Could more be a younger version of the king? I don't know, I'm just thinking about that now, son. you seek, then go and claim them. Are you... Could you be... As for you... I bid thee awaken. Move onward to thy final ordeal. Take thy place at the final proving of the ascension of kings. The conscience fade away and I was sent back to my sleep. Remember that Moore was the author of the fantasy novel. Has Moore visited the ancient Elven Sanctum? Time marches on. And the age of a new king draws nearer. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Okay. All our preparations are just about set. Now that this is actually happening, I've got some pre-show jitters. All this royalty. It always felt they lived in a different world to the likes of me. Never figured I'd be walking alongside one myself. Tis proof that Bloodline decides nothing. We are one people living in a shared world. Looks like this is going to be our last mission. Any final words you want to say? We can't give up. Stand strong to the end. Of course, 
No way we're losing here. I've got the fire in my eyes now. About the new stuff you've felt and learned since becoming the prince. Can I ask you one more thing? Why is it that you want to be king? It's not about honor or power, is it? Some coin would be nice. <laughs> I want to protect this country and its people. Tis the answer I hoped for. I should As you put a joking one in. I will in. ever serve you with all my soul and ability. Well, Just like I did with Hulkenberg. I guess this means we're ready as we're gonna be. Please let me save. I want to leave. Let me out. Oh my this god. <laughs> this recording has been on for so long. I'm definitely going to end up probably cutting this into two parts. Let's yeah, let's go back to Grand Trod. We'll stop Luis this time for sure. That all Grand Trod will give us a warm reception. Still, should we choose not to fight then? Fight. Then Luis's victims only pile higher. Yeah. Easy to say will help anyone, but doing it. Doing's a whole nother thing. All the more reason we gotta prove we're serious by putting our lives on the line. <laughs> we'll lead by example. Besides, it's not won't be the first time we've crawled our way from the bottom. After having made so many sacrifices, the group has gained new powers and ascertained new truths. Their arch enemy, Luis, already has one hand on the throne. Even so, they march ever forward, spirits rekindled by battle. They head to Grand Trad, for the fight is far from over. That Elden boy is nowhere to be found. I suppose it's only a matter of time until Luis takes the throne. Speaking of which, I don't see the general. The voice of the pro Luis faction became too overwhelming. He was ultimately forced out of his position. Why is this happening? Even if the Sanctus Church's favor has collapsed, why is it that Luis alone is reaping the benefits? The public mind is the same as it's always been. It's too difficult to find answers in themselves, so they follow those who provide. We've certainly relied on that ourselves. It's always easier to follow than to have to make all the risks yourself. Now that we are out of ideas, what can we do? Can you imagine Luis on the throne? Can you imagine what he'd do with us? We'd be the first on the chopping block. Do we hide? Run. Our ships are in port. Is this really the time for idle chit-chat? Who are you? Just a passing wastrel. So I'd drop in for a word since I was in the area. You might have one way to survive. Ooh. Well then, let us depart. Lord Luis, your pardon. We've encountered an unexpected snark. I killed the prince in the Elden village. I confirmed his death, yet it appears the boy candidate has merged with his corpse. It seems the prince is now resurrected. Resurrected? Yes, and what's more? The boy candidate was the actual prince after all. Something about his soul having traveled independently and then returning to his corporeal body. I see. So his ideal form was spun from Magla. Whatever the case, this means the land's true prince has reawakened in his sanctum. How interesting. After these long years, my chase may finally come to an end. My nemesis awaits. Lord Luis, what is it about that bastard that fascinates you? Yeah, I won't let it end like this. I have to do better. I need more power. I will show Lord Luis I am worthy of his gaze. We'll soon be arriving above the royal capital. Excellent. 
As planned, increase altitude and enter the royal palace in the sky. Are you certain? We'll be heading directly to his majesty, the former king, and... Rest assured. That old fool is powerless to stop me now. Proceed. Understood. Let the final banquet begin. Come on, any takers? Any bets for the other candidates? Remember, if Luis loses, a silver coin could turn into mountains of rings. What are you trying to say? You think Count Luis is going to lose? Oh, no, of course not. I'm just saying. I'll call that bet. All in on His Highness the Prince. <laughs> a sanctus bigwig gambling away his tides. This really is the end of the world. Didn't know his esteemed princeliness had any supporters left. I mean, he's not really the prince, is he? Was actually a monster in disguise all along. Haven't you heard the news? The times we live in, I'll tell you. <sighs> Must be tough, being an easy mark. It didn't take much for you to buy everything Luis was selling about the prince. The fireworks went off the moment he said, Behold! Remember? You don't think there's any chance Luis orchestrated the entire thing? Oi, churchman! You've seen Count Luis lie to us! You think he cast some big illusion? <laughs> An illusion, eh? What if I said it's a power more dangerous than that? Always struck me as odd. We all know Luis, the mighty human slayer, but how does he keep finding the things one after another? Seems a bit convenient, if you ask me. Like he knows in advance where these monsters will appear to mm. cause havoc. Easy to nitpick and gripe about him, isn't it, churchman? Maybe someone needs to shut you up. All right, all right. Let's keep things civil, eh? No sense becoming a monster yourself. Oi! What's all this fuss about? Damn it! When Count Luis is king, you'll all be the first at the gallows. You'll die just like Forden! Well... They're probably just as anxious as the rest of us. All that yelling and thrashing helps fight it off. Humans have been sighted near the capital, after all. It's more than that. Pockets of society have resented the upper class for ages now. But this might be the spark that lights the kindling. Luis's respect for power is certainly cruel, but it's fair to an extent. Those of us pushing the status quo have always struggled. To understand the appeal. Even then, everyone's on edge. They'll jump at any excuse to argue and snarl at each other. Never seen it this bad. Not normal, I say. Blind fanaticism and doom go hand in hand. If we don't find some common ground soon, it'll collapse beneath us. Luis left saying that he'd be waiting at the royal capital. Only one place he could be. All eyes are on his Skyrunner as it rises to the Flying Palace. What are we about to see? Mm, Luis's eyes, the only Luis's face, the only thing on there. Ah, the Royal Palace. It's been a while. Do you hear me, O oh King? Stubborn and deathless. This country is distorted. You and the other titled authorities decide who grows fat and who is devoured. The country knows no war only because our very core is built upon a system of societal predator and prey. It cannot be defied from within. That is peace, but not order. Hand over the royal scepter. The game is over. The country needs change, and I will provide it. Thou impertinent faith breaker, hast thou no shame in preempting the day of judgment? Do you presume yourself a god? Is that why you wrought your face in stone and took it to the heavens? You're nothing! Just an ordinary, broken old man. 
How wouldst thou wield the king's magic? To what end? To purify all that your kind have left to rot. You threw away your ideals, but I will never make that mistake. Only the people's chosen may take the throne. The royal scepter and its resting place remain beyond you. <laughs> this royal scepter, the royal magic, did you think that only generations of kings were aware of their secrets? Why someone can manipulate world-changing power by use of only a single scepter? Why only those supported by the people can use it? Listen well, O oh king. The truth behind oh. the royal magic. Oh, you cocktees. Huh. So it's true. The country truly is putrid with sin. In other words, if I took hold of it now, then I would have the power to change the world itself. How didst thou learn of this? How? Yep. Weemer horns are fake. Elder. You were not always blind to this country's rot. When you visited our sanctum, I saw and knew the passion in your heart. And yet, what happened to our village? What happened to this country? Oh. You cannot stop me any longer. Nor can anyone else. Save one. Low possibility. Snatching victory from the oh mob boy. catastrophe, the party descends again on the royal capital, Grand Tran. But they are greeted only by ominous skies. Their return hardly counts as a triumph, considering how they departed. Anticipating conflict, the Gauntlet Runner comes to a quiet stop. What the hell's wrong with the sky? Isn't that... Boy! That monster boy's come back! Ah! That's why the sky's grown so hellish. The half-dead bastard returns with his head held high. A more aggressive welcome than I expected. Would any introductions help them to understand? It's useless. Words are cheap. Yeah, probably not. Still, we should walk with pride instead of trying to keep our heads down. True enough. His Royal Highness, the Prince, returns. Luis! Distorted his form through strange and terrible magics, but the curse is now dispelled. His true form has been restored. Oi, if that's really his highness, then tell us why in his majesty in the sky stop all his bloodshed. Because he's an imposter, just like Count Louis said. You're not fool us again, beast. Oi, calm down. At least listen. And you. Never thought I'd see one of the Magnus brothers standing against Count Luis, even the thick one. He took in a parapus like you, and you spit on him. Scum. Only thing traitors deserve is a tight rope and a stiff beam. And you want us to support the prince? Lady Juno, I can't believe this. I admired you. Why would you risk dying alongside some fake prince? I don't intend on dying with anyone. Besides, I'm still me. Whoever I'm standing with. Hey, you chief. Weren't you the wretch who got kicked out of the knighthood? Now you're with this pack of throne chasers. Shame. Shame. Mustari girl. You ungrateful pagan. Count Luis brought down the Sanctus Church for you. How dare you strike out at him? They're all traitors, I say. What is all this? The truth of the prince hardly matters to them. Every one of them's only concerned with their own emotions and nothing else. We'll have your heads on pike soon enough. Leave! Get out of our royal capital! If they're just monsters, 
We can deal with them ourselves. How about it? This is bad. They really are out for our blood. Has everyone gone insane? Yes. Oi, over here. Don't bother with them. No talking this one out. You need to run now. You're the true bro, dude. We weren't away from the city that long. What happened? Why are all the people so bloodthirsty now? The prince turning into a monster before their eyes still lingers in their minds. After all, a monster entered into their society disguised as a person. No, that's not... I know. It's not true. But truth and how it appears to the citizens are different beasts. Moreover, humans have been sighted closer than ever before. The royal capital's populace is unused to danger, so they've become suspicious of each other. How fares your neighbor? Do you run in circles with monsters in disguise? Are questions on the tip of every tongue. Ever since Forden's death, Luis has everyone on a knife edge. He's erratic, and nobody knows how he'll react to those who defy him if push comes to shove. So, at the core of it, people are scared witless, and they cling to Luis as a savior, rather than the devil he is. You well know that Luis cares not one whit about social status, especially as a token of birthright. No amount of wealth or standing can buy his protection. So even those who may have opposed him at first now counsel that condemning him would be imprudent, as it puts their safety at risk. Then we're stuffed. He won't save anyone. And oh yeah, he can create humans, by the way. Oh, that's all true then. I have my suspicions, but... It's still a bit of a jolt. This all said, in my humble opinion, what we're seeing in the people now has been in the works for some time. Mm. Now, has the tournament for the throne truly ever been a fair contest? No. The Sanctus Church bent it to its whim, and I abetted that. To my shame. Before I met you people, I didn't have much to me but anger and quips. I'd rant and snipe and have my cynical little discourse. Yo, you're a true bro, dude. Others for change. Now maybe that outlooks our real enemy. Blind fanaticism, like I had. Even if there's no malice to it, it's a dangerous thing. Hard to think clear when your mind's a muddy stream. We've been told Magla is born from people's anxiety. Perhaps the proof is now before our eyes. Kind of ironic. But we have to do something about it. If we don't, they'll never listen. We'll only ever be seen as an enemy. I had the inn prepared. They won't let anyone in but you lot. Let's head there for now, shall we? Hush, Tony B. I was just heading back to the gauntlet runner. It seems like the sea has calmed down, at least a tiny bit. We'd have a hard time wrecking our gauntlet runner. We still shouldn't change right. it. Chance it. We should make our way to Hush Honey Bee. No one else has already gone ahead. Let's go. Let's go to Hush Honey Bee Inn. So it's absurd. What can I even do? What guard can hold back a riot? Right, Your Highness, Prince. That's what you are, aren't you? I'm responsible for this too. It's not me that should be up the, up in those blasted gallows. Should be putting this country back in its right sense. You hear me? So <laughs> to help these victims. <laughs> I don't have to say. Fucking swine. This is what you get for selling out of your own tribe, folks. The riots and, numer and numerous outbreaks of humans have induced such anxiety in the people that their resulting magla has seeped into the atmosphere, causing the sky to enter a state of magla dis magical disarray. The turbulent weather exuberates people's anxieties, which in turn causes inclement weather and an anonymously colored outcast sky, hidden by unique magla landing clouds that are distinct from typical bad weather. 
Truth of Humans. Giant Alpers of Matt. Magic heralding the war of destruction that ends melancholy that denies much of the world. Um, uh, much. Ah, crap, I lost my spot. Much of old world humankind to become what the world known as humans today. Some visage of these humanity are evidenced in the various par body parts that resemble modern people. Human biology is irregular. Some are capable of reproduction, others are capable of living hundreds of years. The particulars are beyond modern understanding. Truth of Magic. Truth of Magala. We're at 84%. Luis's Dark Arts. A horrific magic Luis used against Clyde. Presumed to function by forcefully circulating overwhelmed Magala through a person's body. Artificially causing extreme melancholization and turning the person into a monster. Self-evidently impossible without deep knowledge of buried truth such as Magala's nature and the origins of humans. It provides a glimpse into Luis's true origins and that the world he envisions among other things. The fact that he's an Elda. Truth the Malconization. Truth the Magic Igniters. The Truth of Relics. Originally highly advanced magic igniters that were created with old world technology before the War of Destruction. Rediscovered and passed down to the present. Each has various different functions, though a majority were created as dangerous weapons of war. Their capabilities and perils have hardly begun to be rediscovered, and many are treated in, ex in accordance with local superstitions. Truth of archetypes. Oh my god. Fundamental process in magic is in, in, in a invocation, the precise envisioning of a phenomenon that brings it into being. Realizing that an archetype is a highly advanced version of this technique, requiring an even greater process of clarity of a greater number of phenomenon, but this alone is insufficient. Fully manifesting archetype requires the use of vi giving vivid form of their intentions. The deception of their ideals, a distilled representation of their own desires, their own will, to change the world. There is no higher form of magic. To invoke such magic distills the physical self into a magical existence, a super being capable of handling these phenomenon, phenomenon with ease. However, it is impossible to fully contemplate the extremely complex notion of characters through imagination alone. To fully comprehend the character required discovered it from the real world. The physique of man is mu multifaceted. And one must truly acknowledge and accept that even with the self exists an unconsciousness aspect of the mind. It is thus more accurate to say that the power is the result of heroic virtue and revolutionary spirit that awakens within a person undergoing adversity. Rather than a call... To call it a skill gain through discipline training. <sighs> the old world. world. War of Destruction. A world war from thousands of years ago waned by the original tribe of mankind, which began the destruction of the old world. However, this also marked the birth of many weapons presently known as divine relics and dragons made possible by their incredibly advanced and magic technology far beyond any of present day. Truth of the Elden Tribe The sons of humans who lived in the old world and pro prognators of the eighth tribes uh, that came to populate the modern world following the rampage of civilization and devastation during the War of Destruction. After the War of Destruction, most of humanity fractured into the tribes of the modern world. However, unknown to the majority of people, the descendants of some nobles who escaped the flames of war re retained their mostly featureless forms over generations. They also retained much knowledge of magic from the old world, though lost. But because they know the destruction that it led to, many actively avoid the post-war world, chose to live, in, live hidden and secluded. Fawns on Phil Gallica. Galica was sure that she and Clyde would retrieve the secret mission together in the Sanctum, but in reality she alone was entrusted with the mission. The memory of the two retrieving the mission together was a fabrication planted in them both by a means to give guidance and purpose to the newly formed Clyde. With the prince successfully revived, Galica was told the truth and her mission technically came to an end. Yet despite her relationship with Clyde being pre pre predicated on a false memory, Galica knows the journey itself was real and has awakened to a new sense of purpose and a personal mission to continue the journey alongside him. Clyde learns the truth of the world of the ancient sanctum. 
No longer a guide, Galco chooses to follow him by her own will instead. So we have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven of them still left to be maxed out of the 12. All right, let's just go do the next story thing. This thing's been going on. Oh my God. This has been going on for so long. I'll probably end it after. Oh, is that another fairy? Excuse me. Hey, you. Are you the one in this drawing? I knew it. You are. You're famous then. You know how crazy the world is right now, Mr. Famous Person? From where, where is it to what is? Everything's gone weird. Really, even just flying around out there makes me feel gross and sick. But this place feels better. So, Mr. Famous Person, can you do something about this awful sky? Yep, I decided I'm going to leave this problem to you, people folk. But... <laughs> I think I'll stay put for a while. I'll watch over you from here, okay? Smash it all to base. Let's move. Clear that one out. That's right inside. Thanks, my ever noble prince. Uh, my noble knight. Hey. Everyone, I'm glad you made it back in one piece. Since you left, Luisa's following has only grown. Have you changed? <laughs> yeah, my hair and eye color changed. It is quite a story, but it deserves explaining. I only hope you can believe us. See, I'm the real prince and such and such and such and such. Uh, all right, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me get this straight. I love the fact that Maria did not have an exclamation and a question mark over her head. She's like, yeah, okay, I believe it. I had thought all this business with declaring yourself the prince was a well-meaning bluff. But under the deception, you were, in fact, the actual prince. Is that right? Still, I mean, how do you get the whole country to believe your story? Is that even possible? Frankly, I doubt it. We've just seen firsthand how far we'll get trying to talk the people down. Then what will you do if this goes on? Um, but you're still you, yes? Yeah, she gets you came it. To help everyone, just like you helped me before, right? Because they are a social link. Yes, that's right. It'll all turn out fine. <sighs> Good. I see. So even if no one believes you. You're still determined to settle the score with Luis head on. Even so, the gulf between us is wider than ever. The people have all but named him their champion. With so little time, a guileless appeal to the public may fall on deaf ears. <laughs> Hard luck for the honest knight. There's not much room left for civil debate now that Luis is openly advocating killing his opposition. Well, that ship sailed when the king's magic faded. Anyway, if there is a key to turning the tide, the first place I'd look is the castle in the sky. You saw how violent and volatile the city folk are now, but I don't think it's as simple as fearing Luis. I've been keeping an eye on the royal capital while you were off on your jaunt through the woods. Frankly, the change in public sentiment was too sudden, unnatural. It's as if they've been collectively drained of their sanity, and if I had to guess what's causing it, you're implying it's Luis is doing. All the eeriness in the sky. Is that because... Don't know. But the change in the citizens is certainly odd. If something really is forcing it, that means we might still have a chance to fix it. Mm. What Luis is doing in the royal palace. Whether or not he truly desires a world overrun by humans. He won't know his mind until we confront him. On the other hand, it may well be bait for a trap. We have no other choice. Trap or not, we have no other choice. Then it's settled. Head to the Royal Palace and put a stop to whatever Luis is cooking up. With that Skyrunner, you're the only ones who can. And we'll fight in the ways we can too. We'll make sure the whole kingdom hears that the real prince is back after all the strife he's been through. Indeed. If you can make things better, you might just inspire everyone to remember their own hopes and dreams. <sighs> Maria's been terribly patient, 
waiting for you and believing in you. It'll be nice to see her smile again. Right. Luis is behind all these disturbances. Stopping him will only help us in the approval ratings. We can restore civ civil civility and rational thought. It'll pave the way to defeating Luis. We must press on with faith in that. I'll always believe in you. We'll all do our best, so you can be a good king. Indeed. Mm -hmm. If we win, I suppose you really will be king. We're counting on you, O oh king. El oh, king. It is too late today for a grand charge, I fear. Let us take a night's rest, and on the morrow, we make for the castle. I want to pick. Ah, oh boy. Hey, oh hi, Oakray. I don't really want to be around the people outside because they're so weird lately. People here feel nice and warm though. I don't know why. It's like there's this optimism in here. And it's gotten stronger since you came in actually. I can feel people's hearts unwinding. Pretty amazing. What kind of magic is that? I wish the people outside were like that. And just like that, they were gone. You. Who would have believed you were his highness, the actual prince? I apologize for the less than royal accommodations, but try to have a good rest regardless. Ah, uh, Miss Fabian, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh, it's no matter what happens, you're still you to me, mister. I'm going to keep cheering you on forever. <sighs> no matter what I say, the people of Grand Trad are going to look down on you. It's times like these where your actions will speak louder than words. When you see... When they see you stand up to Luis, they'll be playing who's in the right. I wonder... I'm actually very curious. I wonder if my ranking would have been much lower... If I did not have the people I had maxed out maxed out. Because of all that stuff. That'd be actually interesting. There's something following me on Grand Trod. Everyone seems so anxious. Those who oppose us do so with fervor, but there are also those who believe in us. We must press on. Oh, hell. Everyone is filtered with such anxiety now that they don't know what to do. Public sentiment is very volatile at this at times like this. Oh, there's still a way to win. <sighs> it's so different from when you were last in Grand Trod. No one's staring at you with such disdain in their eyes. You must remember you still got people on your side, Clyde. Let's just do what we can. I probably now for sure can um, continue on with Barden and, and Brigitte's uh, social links now. Hold so, there. Friends we may be, yet I would hope you'd seek permission before entering one's private quarters. <laughs> You may be the prince, but I will still strike you down. Your Highness. So His Highness will turn to the royal capital in triumph and glory. In truth, I have liked to welcome him back with a grand feast. Ah well, the day shall come when the people too celebrate you in grand fashion. My spear is ever ready to ensure that day comes. Thus you were Luis's subordinate, then a false prince, and now you have awakened as his true highness. No one would have walked such strange a path as you. After all this, you still mean to be king. Come on. Something about, eh? Last time we were here, people were falling over themselves to welcome you. Now the only thing I see is the rise in fear. Damn it, people. Even if Clyde turned out to a monster, Luis is the one making him. That's a far bit scary if you ask me. Oh boy. Okay. I need to check something. Or did I or did I cover over that save? What now? I just I just need to see the party set up here. That's all I need to do. Motherfucker! I... God... Fucking...
damn it all. This is the reason why I died. I probably would have been fine beforehand. But this is the reason why I died. It's because I did not have an actual party. Mother fucker. Oh, that pisses me off to no end. But oh well. It is what it is. I have still managed to do it single-handedly. Still on hard, by the way. <sighs> but anyway, guys. Yeah, see, I'll even prove it to you. Not that really matters, but that's eh, not matter. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this long part of Let's Play Metaphor Refantasio. I'm probably for sure going to split this into two parts. Um, I also can't think of... I'll have to find a way to split it up for sure. Um... So we'll figure it out there. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you like the video, please give that like button a click. And comment down below, like about the video, did like about the video. And let me know, guys, what do you think of all the truths that we learned? The truth of the Elder, the truth of my the truth of my, myself as the character first before anything. We also learned the truth of, you know, the real prince, which, you know, I am the real prince. I'm going to assume. Oh my god, it is straight up. It's It's been there this whole time. So this is... Everyone's going to get their own unique... Uh, everyone's going to get their own unique one because of this. Royal archetype. Is there a way I can see like what kind of archetype I am? Seeker magic seeker. I would assume the manifestation of the prince archetype. With powerful attack and buff skills, the prince excels at controlling the battlefield by increasing turns and enhancing ally strengths. A unique ability to cast all synthesis skills makes the prince's per presence highly valuable to the options they enable in battle. Yo, I love this. Um, is there a way I can, like, see what kind of archetype I am, though? But I am assuming that this is a royal archetype. And everyone is going to have their royal archetype up here, which will be the best of the best. I don't know if there's... I don't know if another thing in order to get will have to... Oh, Oh, you know what? Now it kind of makes sense of, like, why I am blue. You know, like, how the things are, like, the blue that, like that, like, the lightish blue is because of my hair. Ha, that's actually huh, funny. Anyway, the Elemental Master. A powerful mage adapts with magical, with mighty spells and skills that can pre permanently increase the strength of magic attacks. Uh, I cover MP each time an enemy is stunned. I'm actually curious how much MP that will be. Bautona, Blizztona, heavy magic, heavy electric. Has MP cost of synthesis only applies to synthesis that consume MP. Increase magic skill attacks by five, fifteen percent. Gabauta deals heavy f fire damage to all enemies. So I'm assuming that the prince. Like, uh, if this was someone else and it wasn't me, if the if I was there as the prince, that would be that would be able to use this, and I didn't have to be a seeker, mage, or healer. Same with all these. Oh, but I also need to know those skills too, which makes sense. Perception of the abyss deals severe magic, almighty damage to all enemies. God damn. Skyfall Bolt Metaphor or Media Four Medio Four Oh, I need the assassin for you, Warlock. It attacks affinity change to dark and through synthesis skills it can use dark magic. Excellent at pre preserving MP. Mudodine. Interesting. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, like I said, guys, that is going to do it for this part. Uh, these long parts of Let's Play Metaphor Refantasio. In the next part, guys, um, I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens next um, in terms of the story. We'll probably... I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you like the video, please give that like button a click. And comment down below if you like about the videos, didn't like about the video. And yeah, let me know, guys, what you think of all the truth we learned. Just everything that we've learned. I am I am most likely going to split this into two parts because I'm actually getting very damn close to four hours of this. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just curious as to what you guys think about the truth of everything that happened here. Um, I'm sure I'll find a good spot to cut this. So, But yeah, uh, let me know uh, what you all thought. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RG Kim Kid Twitter, are in there, too. God, this game's fantastic. I'm saying that right now. Holy shit. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.